Today we are installing a damper in a six inch wood burning stove pipe. First thing we have to do is find the circumference of the pipe and to do that we need a cloth tape. Go around the pipe like that. We come up with 19 and a quarter inches. Now we want to take that figure and we want to divide it by four. And we'll come up with four and thirteen sixteenths of an inch. So keep track of that figure right there. We'll be using it later. Next thing we have to do is make a template for the holes that we're going to drill into the pipe for the damper. I've got a piece of paper right here and it's cut 20 inches long. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark it halfway Ten inches. That's going to be the reference for the seam. That's the seam of the pipe. We're going to line that up on the seam of the pipe. Now, remember that dimension? Four and thirteen sixteenths? Now we're going to use it right now. We're going to measure from this seam line four and thirteen sixteenths. Now the other side, four and thirteen sixteenths. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. These are the lines where the holes are going to be drilled. Right, so that's our template. Now we got to put it on the pipe. Now that we have the template all made, we can transfer that to the pipe. Put that on the seam, and my hole is 11 and a half, so we'll put that right in the middle, right there, line up the seam.
the line is on the seam and these where the holes are going to go so let's mark them 11 and a half inches You can see that the holes are drilled on opposite of the seam. Right there. Next thing we have to do is measure the diameter of this rod right here that is going to go through those holes that we're going to drill. And we're at roughly 220 thousandths. Let's we'll see what we can get close to a drill. Uh, look at that. 730 seconds is 218. Two thousandths under. As long as your drill cuts nice and true, that should be pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll drill a pilot hole first and then we'll use our 732nd drill as the finished drill. Now the pilot drill we're going to use is a 332nd drill. Let's double check this, make sure everything is fine before still on the seam. 11 and a half right there. Eleven and a half there. Alright, let's drill our pilot. I wasn't putting too much pressure on it, so that's why it seemed like it took a bit to drill. Now for the finished drill, which is 730 seconds, right there.
Now we want to find out where we want to put the handle before we assemble it. And mine's going to be right there. With the seam on the bottom and the handle right there. Alright, let's take that template off. We're all done with that. gloves on this boy, I tell you, a lot of sharp edges. What we're going to do is we're going to dress up that just a little bit. I would never brush that like that with a bare hand. No sir, you catch a burr. Looking good. We're going to disassemble our damper to get it ready. Let's start the rod. Okay. I gotta hold that so it doesn't rotate. There it is. Beautiful, nice and tight. That's as good as you're going to get, right in the middle. So the handle right here, like that, is wide open. And vertical like that is totally closed. Now in my case, the drill that I used for the dampener, which was 218 thousandths, 730 seconds, worked fine. But it's very close to the diameter of the shaft on the damper. So what I would do is go try a little bit smaller first. If yours measures 220 like mine, I would recommend going down to the 1364th drill. See if that works better. It's best to start undersize and work your way up. So I would go with the 1364th first. 
see if the shaft goes in. So that's all it takes to put a damper in your wood burning stovepipe.